come from your own country. It, it is a country of 5,000 years of poetry. There's no other country in the world that, that has such an intense uh, nexus with poetry. And I experienced it physically when I landed in Tehran airport. It takes you almost an hour to wind down uh, to downtown. And the taxi driver who spoke 10 words of English asked me whether he could recite some poems for me. He turned off his radio. And I said, yes, sir, please. And he would recite for one hour in Farsi with a wonderful booming voice, Hafiz Omar Khayyam. Uh, Ferdusi, uh, but in a language that I couldn't understand, and I thought, man, this is this is significant. And um, uh, Iran has is a country of uh, hospitality that is so intense, like nowhere else, in my experience around the world. So it has so many wonderful sites and. Iranians, many Iranians, believe that 5,000 years of high culture uh, does not necessarily mean that uh, um, Islam is going to last forever. It's only around since 1,400 years or 1,300 years in Persia, in Iran, and it, it eventually might vanish. And Iranians have this attitude because uh, 4,000 years before, there was already high culture and poetry and architecture and wonderful things. So uh, I would be the last one to, uh, to be in the attitude of, of Iran bashing. And I would be, by the way, I would be the last one to be in the business of Texas bashing. I like Texas. <laughs> it would, you know, it would seem that the religious, 